Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair using my Dyson Airwrap, okay? So I've had this for about two years and have yet to film with it. I know, you can get mad at me, I'm mad at me. <laughs> I don't know why it's taken me two years practically. It'll be two years in February. No, technically March, because it was the end of February when I purchased it. Got it kind of at the beginning of March. Anyways, so it's been almost two years. <laughs> Year and a half. I'll be kinder to myself. <laughs> but I am obsessed with this. Okay, I'm gonna flat out just tell you right away. I am obsessed with this. If this broke down on me, knock on wood, I would go out, well, I'd have to scrim to save for a minute, but I would go out and I would repurchase it. <laughs> so, I did purchase the full set that came with every single attachment, and then I also bought the long barrel attachments in the larger curl size, and here's the smaller size. So you can see just how much more of a barrel you get when you do get the long barrel. But yeah, I don't wanna to spend too much time like rambling on. We're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you how I get from this <laughs> to, to this. Gorgeous hair. Keep on watching. <laughs> First, I want to. I, I do want to say, as part of the tutorial, you have to pay attention to the way that these arrows go. So what I do is I actually sit them down, and I'll show you. So they go like this, okay, on my counter. So I know this side is for my left side of my face, and this is for the right side of my face. Make it so the arrows are going away from each other so that when I grab them, okay, flip. Okay, see, flip. They go like this. And I hold my Dyson Air Wrap a lot different than most people do. So um, you'll see how I do that. <laughs> okay, Alyssa, hi, how you doing? Wanted to show you how I organize my Dyson attachments. The case got so crazy. So I found this organizer on Amazon and I will link it in my storefront. Then I also have this here for the blow dryer and then the air wrap sits right there. And this is very important. You have to clean your Dyson air wrap all the time. Your uh, curling iron as well. Apparently I need to buy stock in Dyson. This just makes it easy and it's on my wall and I can just grab what I need, put it away when I'm done and I love it want more of it no i have enough but do i i don't know but that's my my dyson organization right there so i do wear extensions they're not in right now we're gonna clip them in now as we go but you can see just how curly and crazy my natural hair can get so my hair extensions are combo i've gotten them from jay-z styles that's a she's a hairstylist here in utah where you can go I can purchase the hair right there in person. Um, and I also have hair from Intertwined Hair, another place here in Utah where you can go and purchase it in person. Um, but you can also purchase them all online. I will link their websites down below. I've had really good luck with their hair. What I'm gonna do, now this is in place, and I will say to products that I have used, Kind of all over the place here, guys. When I get out of the shower, I leave my hair up in this little hair towel. I like this one the best. I've had a couple. This one has a nice button here. And then on this side, it's not an elastic. It's just a piece of fabric. And for me, I like that better because elastics, they've stretched out and they've busted on me. So I like that it's just a piece of fabric. I just twist it till it feels tight and then hook it up. So I do that, and then I put this leave-in serum in my hair from Kerastase. It's for hair damage of three and four. So a little more severe. I put my hair through a lot, so I try to keep it as healthy as possible. I haven't really talked about this much on my channel. I'm still a little sensitive about it, but when quarantine happened, I was just like losing a ton of hair. A ton of hair and it all came out in the shower and it was all attached at the root it wasn't like hair breakage it was hair literally falling out of my head so what I've been using is I have been using the Vegamore grow and they also had the grow plus that has CBD in it um, I've been using them both and my hair I feel is slowly starting to come back but have been using this 
good old stress apparently it got me and then i also use the Kerastase oil um it's the elixir ultime <laughs> really good at pronouncing things guys if you haven't noticed but this is like my fifth bottle i'm obsessed with this same with that hair serum also like my 10th bottle probably because i go through that a little faster um amazing <laughs> Then I also use the color or the color Wow Dream Coat. Um, I use this like every other time that I do my hair, and I spray it on the areas where my curls are the craziest. And also, I'm a hot sleeper, so um, that like you might not notice like so much that it does anything when you do like a full blowout. Where I notice it is it helps my hair from getting super frizzy and crazy when I sleep and my next day hair is a lot nicer. So enough rambling. Those are my products that I use. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to grab this barrel first. Okay. And stick that on just like that. Super easy. And I take my Dyson Air Up and I hold it like this straight up and down and you can see now the arrow is going away from my face. I always curl away from my face, no matter what. It's just my personal preference. So I'm gonna start with the back piece here. I don't wanna take a section that's too, too thick. I just washed my extensions, and so I'm like, perfect opportunity to show you guys. So what I do is I wrap it around the barrel first. Okay, it's not even on yet. And then my thumb right here, easily hits these buttons and I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to leave it on here for about eh, 20 ish seconds. I have a clock right here and I just kind of watch it and I also feel the hair but I hold the tip out here. This is going to help me to get more of like that beach wave as opposed to like curly sumagu which Sometimes I'm digging that, but this is the more everyday curl that I go for. So I hold the end out and just let it be. Sometimes I move it up and down and wiggle it just so I feel like it's kind of getting all the pieces and getting good airflow. Okay. Sometimes I'll unwrap it and wrap it again. So that different pieces are hitting the air. Okay, and now I'm gonna push the button all the way forward or up, in this case it's down, <laughs> and get that cool blast. And then turn it off, slide it straight out, and then kind of guide it down. Ow, oh, hoo -hoo. hello beautiful curl, how you doing? Okay, toss that back and move on to the next section going to repeat the same process. This is going to be very exciting for you. Very exciting indeed. I think I'll go ahead and speed you up. Maybe I'll talk a little. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said I am using the larger barrel with the longer barrel for this tutorial. I'm going to speed you up. Okay, 
So there's the first section curled. If you wanted, when they're still hot, I have done this before, where I have curled or I've like clipped them up so that they kind of form in that way or dry in that way. Let's go ahead and do that actually. Uno, a dos, and a tres. Yes. Boom. Right there. Okay. We're going to let that be. We're going to move on to the other side. I'm going to switch the barrel. Again, setting it down in that same way so that I can just go. And I don't even have to think about uh, which arrow goes where because I already know. Because I set it up to place it that way. Wrap. Then turn on. Before it even goes down, that's where I'm going to clip it and then move on. All done. Now I'm gonna move on to the next section. Let this hair down. Hello. Okay. Got interrupted by a phone call. Had to pause. and replace it. Mm-hmm. Okay, my front pieces that are like face framing, I hold it like forward a little more. Okay. Okay. So the hair has more of a whoosh effect. <laughs> you like that? Whoosh. Sometimes I'll grab a flexible hold hairspray and spritz some pieces before like they fall. When I am like drying hair extensions, like styling my hair extensions with my air wrap like this, it does take longer, but I do my hair like you're seeing right now and then I don't have to wash my extensions for a while. I wash them about once a month. And then my hair, I wash fairly often. <laughs> um, sometimes I wash once a day. Sometimes I wash every other day. It just depends. But this has made it so I can style my natural hair like this in about five, 10 minutes. And then just clip the extensions in and boom, I'm done. Super easy. If you worry about like your curls falling out throughout the day too, you could even put mousse in your hair 
before you do it. I don't like putting too much pro or product on my extension hair, so I'm not gonna do that. And I have mastered the technique of changing the attachments with one hand. It can be done. <laughs> My hair, uh, extension hair is a little more wet than what I would prefer, but it is what it is. I'm trying to post a reel while I'm doing this. <laughs> Multitasking has actually made it so that you can multitask while curling your hair. Pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. <laughs> do you see how much curl there is in my natural hair? It's insane. Same in the membrane. I usually go in and touch up my front pieces with a flat iron where those curls are so crazy. It's like the only way I can get them. <laughs> Got a mind of their own. Okay. Now this front section, just spraying some color wow and try not to spray too much. I'm gonna take a little thin section in the back. Okay, see that? Actually, I'm gonna do these clippy. Straddle on down here so you can see what I'm doing. Taking it and wrapping it so it's gonna eventually do this and just sit there like that and turn that bad boy on. I might have to. You gotta kinda guide this one and I overcorrect and hold it up. Kind of let it chill right there, just like that, right there. This is usually about three sections for me on top. I keep moving like I gotta go to the bathroom, but it's really just because I'm like bored. And I don't know what to do. Usually I'd have like music playing. Or a YouTube video going. Last but not least. This one's a little harder to do just because there's so many different like layers in it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna unclip the rest of my clippies. Unclip. Watch out. Whoosh. Okay, I'm gonna let it like sit like this and marinate for a second. I'll pull her out back in just a minute. I'm back. <laughs> okay, it's marinated for a second. So now I'm gonna. Woo -hoo oh, Nelly. How you doing, hair? 
Wow, that front piece made me like really went like woo woo, wha bam, wha bam wham. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so this volume is freaking insane, right? Like amaze balls. Hi, hi, voluminous, voluminous supermodel hair. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Can't decide. Should I do a middle? I don't know if it's gonna let me do a middle today. Hi. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm feeling a side part today. So, what I do is I just start manipulating where I would like it to part. Okay. Manipulating this piece as well so it curls in the way that I want it to. Same with this side. It's all about kind of telling them what to do there. As bad as it sounds, manipulating them. Mm-hmm. You guys are gonna like think I'm a snob when you see all my tools, but when it comes to my hair, I kind of am a little bit of a snob. My hair is high maintenance. Can you see this? Look at how high maintenance. Okay, so this takes me about 30-ish minutes to do um, when I am drying my hair extensions with them. Then after I do that, you know, I just clip, I just dry my hair and that honestly, my hair alone without the hair extensions takes like five, 10 minutes to get to like this state and then I just clip in the hair extensions Maybe have to touch up a couple pieces here and there on the hair extensions and go. We're talking 10, 15 minutes on the daily out the door for me. Done. And I look like this. Kind of just letting it sit here and calm down. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to flat iron just right here along the part because you saw how much uh, texture my natural hair has. So I had to calm down quite a bit of that. Yes. I don't know why I just said yes, but yes. Yes. Us. Yes. Yes, I have the Dyson Corral straightener. I know. But it's better on your hair and the ability to have a cordless flat iron is freaking amazing. Like, and honestly, it sounds so dumb but like not having to plug an extra thing in in the morning, especially my early mornings, it really helps. So I just go along my face, get these areas where they're just, they get a little too cray cray. Sometimes I'll like kind of let my natural texture be and sometimes I dig it. But other times I'm not, like today I'm not digging it. We ain't digging. The digging it. Okay. And you can see I'm just going like the first like couple layer or couple inches probably about two-ish, three-ish inches on the hair. And you can see, boom, look how beautiful that already looks. Do it on the other side. Calm down. And then I also like to take it from the back. Whoops. love my sound effects like they came out full-blown for this video I hope you appreciate it because I don't always get that way <laughs> sometimes I'm really like shy and I try not to be but that's just my my natural my natural tendency here I'm trying to Piece didn't kind of like it. Obviously curled. It just curled in the wrong way. I'm retraining it. 
manipulation station here. Okay, so can leave it like this, which is like, whoa, hi hair, how you doing? Um, or another thing that you can do, I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna go ahead and do it so that you can see the options. So can leave it like this, or if you like that more beachy PC look, you can go through and just iron some of your ends out and straighten them. Because let's be honest, I got lazy and I didn't want to hold all the pieces out. So you can just see like the difference in the two sides. Both sides I really like. It just depends on my mood and where I'm at. So obviously since I went ahead and did this on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side. This flat iron is amazing, by the way. Absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Then I just finished by spraying, especially my bangs, just in place a little. I'm probably looking at my viewfinder like the whole video because I'm using it as my mirror. And then for the very, very last step, what I do, is I take the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine Spray. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Obsessed. It is just so beautiful. The shine in it. And the smell. But I first started using this right before I got married. So the smell of it literally like transports me right back to my wedding. I love the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine. So good. So that is it guys, that's my hair look using the Dyson Airwrap, like I said, to dry my extensions, it's four rows of extensions, it's a lot of hair here that I've added onto my head. It does take about 35-ish minutes for me to fully curl and style my extensions with the Airwrap and then on the daily, I don't wash the extensions all the time, I wash them like I said about once a month and then on my everyday basis I go through and I just style my hair and then clip the extensions in and that takes I'm not kidding 10 maybe 15 minutes depending on if my hair doesn't want to cooperate okay we've all been there that's my daily routine so like 15 minutes from wet to completely styled being generous is really really nice really nice I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a big ol' thumbs up. Leave any comments, requests, questions, anything down below. I love to talk to you guys. Go ahead and hit that notification bell right there if you want to join the Allianne clan. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.